we're going to be moving on now to a pirate folk band. And I can't even remember how I found them. Um, they're called Ye Banished Privateers. And is it meant to be the Banished Privateers? Because why E evolved to be the? That's, if you ever see like Ye Old Tavern, that sort of thing, it's called the Old Tavern. That's what Ye stands for. Um, or Ye means. I'm going to keep calling it Ye, purely because I've been watching a lot, I've been watching a lot of Josh Dub videos and they all say Yeet a lot. And that's, uh, again, I say Yeet a lot to begin with. Now it's going to be way worse when I go back to work, if I ever go back to work. But yes, anyway, history lesson for you. Uh, Ye Banished Privateers, their fourth album is called Hostis Humani Generis. Generis. Generi. It's Latin. I think it means the enemy of the land. Or the enemy is the land. I read it yesterday and I slept. And so I've forgotten it. But I know it's something. It's very in keeping with the whole pirate theme. And boy is this piratey. It's their fourth album. Like I said, they're from Umea in Sweden. And like I said, they're a pirate folk band. They have an excess of 30 odd members. And they, the band came together under a, like the few like, forefathers of the band I guess you could say and they all came together under a mutual love of traditional Irish and Scandinavian folk music um, which oh, it's there in spades they've got um, mandolins, jembers, um accordions violins a bunch of instruments never heard of which are basically like smaller versions of guitars or larger versions of violins there's a it's a very organic sounding um, folk sound and I think very in keeping to what um, the kind of sounds you'd get from pirate times we'll, we'll get into. Uh, lyrically, it's also, I think their entire discography, I imagine it is, is based around the happenings of the 17th and 18th centuries. And a lot of it is very classic pirate tales so you got um william kidd you got Anne bonnie nassau and like the entire west indies you got the british being assholes classic normal everyday things that happened um during those times from from the off you are instantly in um the world that ye banished privateers want you to be in um opening song no pray no pay it kind of cheats a bit um it has like a sound effects of crashing of waves. I feel like if you didn't have that, you would instantly get the right mindset because of like it starts with a little accordion jingle and then goes into like a very rhythmic drum beat, which is very much like a everyone's there clapping their hands and watching people be really good at music. Um, not like I am. And yeah, from then on, you would just for how long is that? 54 minutes, you would just feel piratey. And it sounds so dumb, but my god, this it's just so well done. This entire I guess you I guess it's a gimmick. This entire gimmick is done so much so well. And I feel like it's because there's a lot of love in the gimmick. There is another very notable band who uses um pirate aesthetic. And they I comparatively between um these guys and them it feels like e banish privateers have come into it and said look we're going to be a pirate band if we're going to do it we need to really really do it so they've took it seriously they have got all the right components in like i've read that in interviews they will talk in pirate talk um they all dress up on stage that's 30 people in outfits and costumes the music I don't know how, but we all have like a very like a rooted understanding of what pirate music would sound like or does sound like. Um, like my the bulk of my pirate knowledge comes from playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, and even before playing that, I kind of knew what pirate music was. Um, but there's so much care and attention going into this outfit and this band while still retain the fact that they know they're all dressed up like fucking pirates. So they're, they're taking it seriously, but having a lot of fun with it. And I feel like based on that, the results they get in their music just sounds so better because 
they're actively trying and are allowing themselves to have fun with it and I th- yeah I think the quality in what they come up with it is just it speaks for itself um, the wall of sound that they have behind the lead vocalist for Hush Now My Child is fucking beautiful um, the imagery it creates it just you're being you're on a ship uh, the sun gleaming you've got some rags which you think make you look cool that those thoughts of what you would look like as a pirate they come so easy and come so effortlessly when you listen to a song like Hush Now My Child um, Elephant's Dance kind of reminds me a little bit of Flog and Molly which I feel like is a very like from the if you haven't listened to the album it's a very easy to say oh they sound like a that Celtic funk, uh, punk band that comparison to other like Celtic punk or Celtic rock anything, it doesn't happen as often as often as you think. I think the only reason Elephant's Dance was, I think the song reminded me of it was Queen Anne's Revenge, which was, it's already a song about Blackbeard's ship anyway. So I feel like that's why I've made the connection there. But outside um, comparisons don't happen as often as you think. This is, this is why I think Ye Banish, Ye Banish Privateers do it so well, because they sound very them and very unique in how they execute what they want to do. Uh, rowing with one hand is the fucking dumbest shit. Um, it's so much fun, though. I feel like I'm going to use the word fun a lot for the review, but it's so fucking silly. It sounds like your granddad has got really excited after having a few, few too many bevs. And... It's like, oh, it's fucking, it's so stupid. It sounds nothing like that as well. I don't know where I got the tune from, but. It's fucking, oh God, it's ridiculous. It's so much fun though. This album is just, again, it feels like so much love's gone into it that you feel like you can, not exactly take the piss, but you can have a joke with it and it'll have a joke back with you. And yeah, I just think it's, brilliant for that and um, one of the biggest like takeaways i got from it though was i love love the female vocalists in the band um i i feel bad usually when i like want to single out a single member or a particular member i want to find out the names but with 30 odd people in the band i think that's five vocalists three male two female i think um and i don't know enough about the band to say that one or that one or that one or that one but the female vocalist, I was staggered. I was fucking guffawed when I found out that the female uh, vocalists aren't Swedish. Uh, aren't Irish, sorry. I thought they would come from... Like, the accent on Blame the Brits, I thought the person singing that came from at least one of the islands. But the fact this is a Swedish band with Swedish members, I thought this was fucking crazy. Because... The... the not the vernacular... Is it just the accent? Is that just the fancy word for that? I guess the delivery of um, the lyrics in songs like um, Blame the Brits, that little twang the vocalist has got, it just sounds very Celtic and very in keeping with what, I, in my head, folk music and pirate folk music would sound like. Um, and then you get to the voice on Death of Bellows. It's fucking stunning, that song, and the performance on that it chills you right down to your to your bones um and it doesn't help as well so it's very like idyllic very quiet very gentle kind of song um and when the chorus kicks in and it's um ashes to ashes dusk to dunes dust the uh focus in it is obviously being like very gentle and then backing her is just like a handful of the male vocalists and they're all being it's just oh, fucking ASMR levels there, and I apologise if I'm tricking anyone else's ASMR. It's unlikely because I don't have a delicate feature in my body, but there we are. Um, yeah, fucking Death of Bellows is such a beautifully delivered song. Um, Blame the Brits is as well, but for completely different reasons. Uh, it's just this whole album is stupid fun. And I don't want them, if they ever hear this review, I don't want them to feel like me calling it stupid is a bad thing. You, there are certain albums where you just need to put on and think, this, I just know I'm going to have fun. I don't have to, oh, like, 
overthink it too much. I don't have to analyse the intricacies because I can't. It's folk music. I don't know enough about folk music. Um, you just want some music where it's going to give you a little pick-me-up. You can have like a little a, a whisk away in your imagination. I so wish I this album, either this album came out or I knew about this band when I was playing Black Flag a few years back. As much as I love the music on that um, game, this would have been so much fucking better. And I think for an album like this, it's very important in these trying times with lockdown, corona, having a leader whose mind is made of bubblegum. In these trying times, it's always important to remember that at one point in time, we could have been dealing with pirates. We could have been dealing with uh, theft, looting, crime, smelliness, um, scurvy, um, big old swords, rum the theft of tea and then think of that and then slap this on and then you realize how fucking cool that life would have been man i wish i was a pirate when i put eyeliner on apparently like a pirate which i've had to do for work a few times but that's not the point it's it's fucking great this it's it's daft fun and again i don't want anyone to think that because i'm calling it things like daft and stupid I'm negative about it. I'm nothing about positive about this um, album. Looking at the track lists, I can't really think of a song that I've listened to and thought I didn't like that. There are obviously songs that I'm weaker on than others. Um, but no, it's just, it's fucking brilliant. It's, yeah, just a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, it's called Hostess Humani Generis. I buggered that up. Um, but it's the fourth album from Ye Banished Privateers, a Swedish pirate folk band. Um, get on it. It's a lot of fun. We need fun right now. <laughs> 